My first raid in Fallujah absolutely told me that we did not know what we were messing with. Six Days in Fallujah is releasing a new update on November 7th called Command and Control. And among a few things it's going to be doing, it's also going to be releasing a new feature that a lot of people who enjoy this game have been waiting for for a very long time. Two story missions, which we are going to circle back to and talk about in just a minute, as well as eight procedural missions, and then the ability to control AI teammates. And this is the big feature, I think, that so many people who have enjoyed this game for a while now, since it's been in early access, have really been waiting for. While the ability to do this is going to be a welcome addition to this game, the execution of this feature is really the most important thing. And this is where we're gonna have to wait and see. But if you've played Ready or Not, you'll understand why I may have a little bit of hesitation in whether or not this can be done in a way that is actually effective. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand this is no easy task, and it's a difficult thing to program and program in a way that feels realistic. But they are promising leading an AI fire team in modern war as it's really fought. In this reveal video, they directly reference two of the functions of leading an AI team, one being breaching, two being fix and flank, and then indirectly you hear audio uh, of your player character uh, yelling suppressive fire here and pointing. So there are essentially three things uh, being showcased. I assume there will be many more. You would certainly hope there would be. I would be absolutely flabbergasted if there wasn't. But again, the biggest thing is, can they make this work effectively? I really, really, really hope they can because the campaign mode is also something that I've been wanting for a long time. And while this isn't a traditional campaign yet, they do reference the two story missions, which I feel like are sort of a precursor to the eventual campaign that will be coming out. One more thing to keep in mind is that this game is still in early access, PC early access, so this is not yet official 1.0. Consoles, you're still waiting on this, okay? I get a lot of questions about that, so I just wanted to throw that out there before we got to the end. If we're excited for the new Six Days in Fallujah, drop a like on this video, throw some comments down below, and let's chat about what we think we can expect from this new update that comes out in just a handful of weeks. Appreciate you stopping in. See you later.